Hi guys, it's Fred Gomber again. Teresa Cunningham. And we're here in our Princeton office of Glory Nielsen, downtown Princeton, and that's uh, what's Judith. That? Witherspoon <laughs> Street right behind us, right? And there's the uh, House of Cupcakes. Yep, House of Cupcakes. Uh, all kinds right, of stuff. I spend a little. Across. You know, I spent a little too much time at that. Yeah, well, anyway, talking world, about houses. Small world is right there. Right, talking about houses. We want to talk about what buyers and sellers should be aware of when you're listing a home or when you're buying a home. And one of the things, we just had a, a session. We were just involved with a gentleman who does home inspections. And what's one of the big things that he's talking about that may be changing? Well, the, the radon. The radon, believe it or not, we are in the land of like a hot zone. All right, so radon. radon is a gas. It's yes, a natural, natural gas. Yes, occurring gas in the ground that comes up in our basements. You know, as much as you use your basements or not use your basements, from now on, the state of New Jersey may be lowering their standard from four to two. Right, so right now when they take a reading, if it reads four and below, it, it's You're great. Fine. They may be changing that to, to two, two and below. And a number of the properties that we've talked about yep. and been in, they are right around that four number, so yeah. this is going to be a major... Uh, Due to the age of the home, over the many, many years, the gases collect anyway. It's just natural. And some homes have radon fans and some don't. Like my neighborhood, there's not a lot of fans, but they're starting to find this gas in the, in, in the homes now during the testing. And again, it's tested in your basement. So there's a canister that's put in there and it's left for, I don't know, 48 hours or such. A professional does it. Now, you can also go to Home Depot mm -hmm. and they can you can buy these canisters. Right, and mail it in. You can mail it in and try it. But the point is, if it has a reading of right now below four, uh, the buyer can ask for remediation and that's done with... With fans and, uh, I mean, could, there's a passive system that goes up into your house and out your attic and there's also the, the kind that sucks the air out. There's all kinds of standards that are gonna be changing. So what we wanna do is get a, if you feel that the, your home is in the 20 plus years, even if you're living there and not selling, you may want to consider testing for radon. Absolutely, so that's one of the changes. Something else that we're seeing more and more of, it has to do with your sewer and the sewer line. What did we find out about that? Well, apparently, uh, well, over the years, your sewer line, whether it's cast iron for the older homes, like the 50 plus years homes or whatever, or the PVC pipe, it does deteriorate or have issues over time, whether it's clogged or through some blockage or sinking, what they call it. Yeah, and when they put the pipe in and they run it out to the street, this pipe has been there, then over years and years and years with the weight of the soil and things just on top Trees. of it it starts to get maybe a little belly and that can slow down and affect adversely the flow. It could break yeah. tree roots. Yep, so, and, or anything that collects over time. So the question is, this big thing is happening as buyers are buying homes. If the, the home is over 20 years old, they are opting to test for the sewer line. Now yeah. we sit in houses and we're like, no, we're fine. Or I'll buy the little $20 a year or whatever it is or put it on my homeowners. But these buyers are coming in and looking for that, which is maybe something we want to consider. So now more home inspection companies are offering this as an option. Mm -hmm. So you want to be as proactive as you can. Right. Now, if you're looking for more tips on how to prepare your home for sale, and if you're a buyer and you want to know what can you do to protect yourself. Please call us because we can give you a checklist and go over what the benefits are of certain things to face the obstacles before you list or as a buyer what to look for so you don't go in blindly and say I didn't do that I didn't check this so that's a, or yeah. if you own your home and you want to keep the maintenance level at a high level for the future these things are happening today not you don't want to do it later on right so check and find out if we can help you can reach us you've got our contact information and we will catch you yeah, with the next us. update Texas, pretty us. soon. You yep. got it. All thank, right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.